Marvel's Avengers at launch will offer players six different Marvel heroes to play as, Black Widow, Captain America, Hulk, Iron Man, Ms. Marvel, and Thor. And lead combat designer Vince Napoli, formerly of Sony's God of War team, walked IGN through how the Crystal Dynamics team is aiming to make each hero unique and fun to play in their own right. Here we'll be breaking down what makes three of these heroes, Black Widow, Captain America, and Hulk special, and be sure to watch part two to find out about the other playable characters. We actually started with um, Black Widow, and there was a lot of debate over, you know, what character to start with, and she made the most sense just because she provides so many unique challenges, especially going up against some of the crazier sort of god-tier powered heroes. She's incredibly fast, she's incredibly agile, she sort of has the fastest melee attacks and, and, and melee combos in the game. She's also able to alternate between her electric batons and sort of her heavy attacks and use those differently than her sort of melee attacks on the light button. She's also able to switch between uh, multiple ranged weapons as well. She you switch between automatic pistols, uh, dual wielding rapid pistols, and, uh, and, a, and a high caliber, heavy caliber magnum uh, pistol. But a defining aspect of Black Widow is her stealth, and Napoli explained how playing as Nat well and really making use of her intrinsic stealth ability is the key to success. Some of the most interesting and fun play actually we see with her is the ability to enter stealth, use stealth very quickly, sort of get out of it, and then enter it again. If you're playing her well, you do feel like you're constantly escaping the battlefield, entering the battlefield, tricking the enemies constantly. That focus on stealth allowed the team to crack the code of Black Widow's arsenal and the many abilities that could be layered onto her customization options. Black Widow became this unseen force among the Avengers, with Napoli telling us, quote, then you add in her grapple ability to quickly move between targets and you combine stealth, you make her this ninja on the battlefield where she's rapidly moving between enemies. Once we had all of those elements in place, she definitely started to play as something really, really special. <laughs> Steve Rogers is the elephant in the room because he's the team member whose presence we don't quite know in the full scope of the game. That's because in the A-Day demo, he seems to have died at the onset of Marvel's Avengers. Still, Crystal Dynamics traded what is clearly a deep combat system that presumably will eventually at some point get to play in full. Throwing the shield is obviously so so iconic and needed to feel so special, and so we, we definitely racked our brain with what we could do to to really make the most of that. Uh, his shield throw actually has its own built-in sort of ranged combo. Napoli also described a special kickback ability that Cap has, which essentially allows skilled players to time a hit of Cap shield to re-hit every target you already hit in a chain. That depth and nuance came from, according to Napoli, a desire by the team to add skill and a sense of mastery to Cap's abilities for players. How can you really, really feel like you've mastered the shield throw? Like, what layers can we do where there is some some amount of, of practiced and learned ability to the point where you actually do feel like an expert Captain America player? Other than being able to to utilize his rage and smash through stuff and and feel that overwhelming sense of power, what does it feel like? What is his? What would my gameplay strategy as hold? What would a, what would a, a a realistic gameplay strategy be? A same if you were a Hulk player, what if we we took it to we, we took the idea of weaponization? Is like, you know, Hulk was basically all about weaponizing the environment and weaponizing the the enemies or weaponizing the combat scenario around him. And what I mean by that is that that's, not, that's actually why he's able to pick up and wield enemies as weapons. Napoli pointed to a specific example of using the environment as a giant boulder before going into a fight. Well, I'm going to prepare at the beginning of this fight because I'm going to rip up part of the ground and turn it into a giant boulder. And then I'm going to run around with that and sort of start the fight by leaping off the highest thing I can and sort of dive bombing into the fight with my giant boulder. Uh, and for example, like using the status effects, you can make that a cosmic infused boulder. You can irradiate the boulder with gamma as you sort of pile in. Uh, and it sort of rewards a little bit of preparation work there, which is a little bit of an end of this to hold where you wouldn't necessarily expect them to be all about preparation, but it does reward a little bit of slight press preparation with even more sort of over the top destruction. Hulk, of course, can also grab enemies, and Napoli explained that picking different enemies will change Hulk's swing with them, allowing players to further plan their combat by choosing which enemies to go after first. For more, be sure to check out our hands-on experience with Thor and Ms. Marvel, watch part two of the series, and stay tuned all July long for more of our IGN First Marvel's Avengers coverage.